Hey guys, good morning. Happy Wednesday to you, or if you're watching at a different time, then happy day to you. I have a great word for you guys today. It was put on my heart. As always, God puts this on my heart and it's so heavy and strong and it's just something that I know needs to be said. I know needs to be heard. And so I am just obedient and giving the message to all of you. So this morning, I want to talk about a scripture in the Bible that is also a very powerful commandment, and that is love thy neighbor. In this world that we're living in nowadays, guys, there is so much hate and so much anger. And I look back at my life and uh, whenever I first escaped human trafficking and when I was on the run and at, right after I had went through the trauma that I had went through, I hated everybody. I was a very uh, mean person because of what happened to me. So one thing that I wanna say is the Bible says, love thy neighbor, but it was hard for me to do that because I was so angry inside. You see, a lot of times there were people that, that were in my path that had done absolutely nothing to me, but I hated them. Why? Because I hated myself. Because I had so much anger inside of me for things that I hadn't healed from, then that trickled down to each person that came across my path. It's not about flesh on flesh. It's about a spiritual warfare. And it took me a very long time to realize that and to see these people didn't do anything to me. They were just in the path of me. And so what I want to speak today, guys, is about loving your neighbor. It's about loving that person in the grocery line that is so mean and so hateful because you don't know where they've been. I talked about that in my last video. If you guys didn't see that, go back and watch it because it talks about if you haven't walked the walk, don't be talking the talk, right? Because we don't know what people have been through. And I had the most amazing outpour of love come through my messages for that um, Wednesday word that I did. But what I want you guys to know is that you're never alone. Like the enemy wants you to think you're alone and he wants you to think that things that you went through, you have every right to hate people and you have every right to be ugly to people. But I'm here to tell you something. Stop being a victim. That's what the enemy wants you to be. He wants you to be miserable. We don't feel love when we hate people. You know, I had two different men, the exact, almost the exact same look to them. Uh, the guy that bought me into human trafficking was a big black man. I was terrified, okay, and I'm just being very honest, of big black men until I met my brother and one of my closest friends, Orlando. Orlando changed that for me. And let me tell you, it was about his heart. You see, they looked alike, but one's heart was big and one was a man of God and one was a monster. So I want to make this point we need to stop looking at skin color and we need to start looking at the heart. See, you never know what somebody goes through and whatever nationality or background that they may be from. But we all have a heart. We all bleed red. And so it's so important that we show love to our neighbor. It never says in the Bible there's diversity. It never says love this person and don't love that person. It says love thy neighbor. So we got to stop the hate. We got to stop it because I have to tell you, I hated this man for the longest time until God showed me how much it was ruining my life. And so then I had to realize, you know what? He hurt me, but somewhere down the line, someone hurt him. The guy that lured me into human trafficking to do such an evil act, somebody hurt him. See, it's all about the heart. And whether that heart was hurt, that, that heart was tore apart, that heart was never loved, that heart knows Jesus or that heart don't. It's about the heart and people. And it's time, guys, that we start realizing that we need to love our neighbor and stop letting hate take. Hate is like a wildfire, guys. It just takes off. And before you know it, so much hate has engulfed us that we can't even see love. When love is waiting for us, any person I meet, I love on them. I tell them, you're special, you're worthy, you're important. And guys, I can't tell you the difference in when you show love versus when you show hate. 
I'm not proud of the person I was or the hate that I would spew, but I'm proud of the person that God has me today and the love that I share. And, and when I see people and they're mean to me, I show love back because you don't know what they're going through. You don't know what they've been through. So love thy neighbor. Let that spread out. Let that go wild. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. said, hate doesn't drive out hate. Only love can. And if you guys know me, y'all know I'm not very good at memorizing things, but God just put that on my heart. I want you to know we have to stop with the hate. We have to start loving our neighbors. We have to start understanding they have a path. They have something that they went through. Just because they look differently than we look doesn't mean that their life is different than what we've walked. Human trafficking doesn't have a color. It doesn't have a nationality. It attacks all. Sexual predators attack all. Maybe you went through something as a child and you're still have that hate and anger inside of you. And I'm telling you, if you let go and give it to God, he will take it from you. He will make you new again. It is the enemy that's holding you in that shame and guilt. It is the enemy. Y'all, if you went through a childhood of, of abuse, don't let that generation continue with your own children. That is fingerprints of the enemy. God wants you to break that generational curse and he wants you to show love to your children. Well, just because your dad did it to you doesn't mean you do it to others. Just because somebody did it to you doesn't mean you do it to others. It's not an eye for an eye, guys. We need to break that cycle and say, you know what? I'm going to love instead of hate. Yeah, this happened to me, but I'm still here. I'm still standing. I have a beautiful family. I have beautiful friends. I'm happy to be alive. And then other people be like, what is it about you that makes you so happy? And you can say the love of God because I wouldn't be here otherwise. I pray this touches your heart. I pray this speaks to you. I pray that if you're in a place that you are just so broken inside that you know all you got to do is reach out and he will grab your hand. I'm telling you from experience. I'm telling you from a person that came from hate. It wasn't anything that any body that crossed my path after that did to me. It was that trauma that got me and the enemy that continued to use that with each person that crossed my path until God took it from me. Love thy neighbor. Gotta stop the cycle, guys. We gotta stop the hate. It's not getting you anywhere. When I see people fighting, I wonder what's your background? who hurt you so bad that all you want to do is hurt other people because I was that person. I hated men for the longest time because of the hurt and abuse that I went through from men until I realized there are men like my husband who's absolutely amazing who treats me like a queen every single day. You can't judge another person by how one person treats you. You got to know there are people that have big hearts and they just might have went through bad things. And your love can kind of get that heart ticking again. So love your neighbor. Don't fall into this trap of hate that is crossing our, united, our whole entire nation. Love each other. That's my message for today. I love you all. Thank you for watching.